Luke Rowan is here. Luke's a uh, posture alignment specialist, among, uh, amongst other things. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Uh, Luke and I were just having a big chat because I'm having some, uh, some hip issues, hip and back issues uh, from golf. One of the many sort of um, uh, pains that people get, you know, athletic people in the summertime, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of things can happen when you're doing, especially like you said to me earlier, when you're doing things you don't normally do. That's right. Right. The, 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 that's right. And, and golf isn't to blame for it, right? Um, golf is just kind of what brought that out. For who should I blame, you? Luke? Um, <laughs> <laughs> blame the people. Yeah. Um, no, it's um, golf isn't it isn't the fault. There's things that have probably been building up in in your body over time. Right. There is an alignment issue there, right. right? So something is out of balance. Yeah. And that's what causes the pain. For a lot of people like me, summertime is when the time they're most active and they're out doing like a, we, water skiing is something you only do for a certain time. Of yeah. Year. So it's easy to pick up little injuries and so on that can that can you know be a pain in the neck for for a while. Yeah, for sure because. A a lot of times like take the shoulders for instance they're made to move through a big range of motion but yeah. most of the time we're typing writing and dr driving we're locked out front and, right. and then we go do something else that tries to use a, a way bigger ra range of motion yeah and then things hurt fair enough to say posture has a big role to play in all of this and, and your back and your spine and all that posture is the biggest role okay in it yeah absolutely you got the mat out what who would do yeah. Uh, well, let's start. Let's start with one for the shoulders, I, actually. So we'll start standing up first. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you standing arm circles. So what I want you to do is take you like this. What's called golfer's grip first. So squeeze your fingertips down into your palms. That's right. going to lock your wrist. Right. Okay. Now your arms go down and back. Okay. Shoulders down and back. Right. Now raise your arms up to about sh shoulder height. Good. Now you want to try to make sure that they're nice and even. Ooh. Okay. Good. Now I have trouble in that area. <laughs> <laughs> now start to trace small six inch shoulders rotating forward. Forward? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. And you want to be able to work your way up to doing about 40 of these. Really? Okay, so things probably start to burn relatively quickly. So you're building strength here, right? You're, you're building strength, te teaching the shoulder to work like a ball and socket joint again. I got to look to make sure I'm, I'm even because I get tilted pretty that, easy. That's right. And then yeah. you're also going to go the other way. So, so you backwards? Would bring, except for now, you would turn your palms up oh, and go oh. backwards. That one usually feels harder for it most does. people. It does. Yeah, and it's harder to keep your arms straight. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's good, eh? That's good. It feels great. Absolutely. It, it's a great thing to do before any athletic activity. So that'd be great for get... me for a golf, uh, before I play golf. Absolutely. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Next, we can have a look at one for the front of your leg. It's called standing quad stretch. Right. So you can h hang on to this here yep. for, for balance. So grab your left hand and the left ankle there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, very See, good. See, this is my bad hip. That yeah, I pro that's the oh, tighter that one. Then, yeah. then switch sides. Okay, I'll switch sides. Yep. All right. <laughs> good. And then you want to try to be up as tall as possible. Yeah, that's as good as it gets for me right now, Luke. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Does it feel really tight down? Yeah, and I got, I've got that to leg? listen. You don't know the problems I have. When these, <laughs> when these m muscles are r really tight, it puts a lot of strain on the knees and makes them work through a range of motion that, that, that they shouldn't. It pulls them out of alignment. Right, right. And yeah. alignment is something you talk about over and over again because yeah. it's all connected to what's going on. Yeah, everything is co connected. The knee will affect the ankle and it, and it will affect the hip and it can even affect how the shoulder is working. Yeah. So it's very important to have the proper alignment. Okay, down on the floor, what are we yeah, gonna do go there? Go ahead and lay down on your back. On my back. Okay, I gotta adjust my, yeah my microphone and so on so I don't hurt myself here. Lay on my back. Yep. All right, here we go. So this is gonna be one to open up the hips a little bit. So bring your heels in just a little bit closer. Good, your hands can be out, palms up. Right. Okay, and now push down th through your heels and raise up your hips. Like so? Like that, good, and then come down. So it's like a pelvic tilt, right? Uh, it, it's, it's more of like a pelvic like thrust. We, we call it an active bridge. Right. But you come down and rest and then extend up. So, so just repeat? Yeah, you, you, you just want to repeat and you can do 20 or 25 of these. That would help my hips again, previous to yeah. activity like golf, right? Absolutely, as, as you come up, it's opening up the front of your hip and it's also engaging your glute muscles right. too, which is gonna to help to keep your back safe from extra strain. Yeah, it takes a lot of the, the glute muscles really can take a lot of pressure off your back and, and your hips and other joints. Right? A absolutely, but, but m most people, we do a lot of sitting, yeah. uh, so the glute muscles aren't active and they're not supporting us. 
so this can really help. I'm gonna have to do about 4,000 of these before Sunday morning's golf. Absolutely. Luke, how do we find out more and where do we uh, get in touch with you? On our website, uh, yeah. freedommove.ca. Right. And uh, you can look at more vi videos of e-sizes e there, as well as all of our contact information is there. Awesome, brother. Thanks for all your help. I appreciate it. I'm going to go see no Luke problem. and actually try and get myself straightened out. That's great. It may take a long time. <laughs>